You're absolutely wrong. Coming out as a vegan animal rights activist, as somebody who cares beyond themselves, is much more special than it is to come out as a member of the LGBTQ community. Coming out as a member of the LGBTQ community is an entirely selfish act. It's talking about you only. It's not talking about the things that you're going to do to better the world. Coming out as an animal rights activist is talking about the animals, others, not just you. In fact, it is a completely unselfish thing to do. Yes, I'm not saying it's easy in different societies, different religious backgrounds, but if you're in a religion that treats you badly, then just change religions. We've been over this before. But look at my comment section. Think of how terribly vegan animal rights activists are treated. Not just me, all of them. Do better. Be kind to those who are being kind. Be vegan. Look at this beautiful child. Beautiful eyes, beautiful smile, beautiful curly hair, beautiful skin. Look how adorable she is. What do you think about the idea of banning cruelty, but not words? Can you think of some words right now that are banned? What are they? What are some of the words that you're never allowed to write? And how did we get this way in society? Is banning words a good idea? When does it end? If we say we can't say the N word, but then people ban even saying the N word, then the N word becomes the X N word, the N word that used to be the other N word. And it never ends. It just goes on and on and on. What about other words? The F word, the C word, the R word, the S word. When does it end when we start banning language? Is it a good idea, really? Or is it better to just reclaim words that have hurt us? Just not let them have any power. Does this girl seem to you like she might be naturally intelligent, gorgeous, generous, exemplary, and radiant. She looks like she could be that to me. I'm naturally intelligent, gorgeous, generous, exemplary, I'm radiant. Sticks and stones can break my bones, but names can never hurt me. Don't ban words, ban cruelty. Oh my God. Your friend died trying to be vegan? Oh, I feel terrible. Oh my God, what did he eat? What did he eat that killed him? Was it a banana? A carrot? Was it broccoli? Oh God. Maybe it was dates and figs. Was it soy milk or tofu? Oh my God, he died, eh? And you tried really, really hard to make him eat meat, yeah? Shit. But did you try hard enough? Like, did you take him and just like force him down and just say, man, you gotta eat this dead pig. You gotta eat this bacon to save your life. Did you do that? You know, did you, did you make him eat a sausage? Did you like shove a chicken wing down his throat? I don't know if you tried hard enough, man. So I asked my husband, who would you rather have sex with? That vegan nurse, that meat teacher, Ms. Tofu, or me? And his response was,